For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. On July 1st, Israel is set to begin the annexation of as much as 30% of the West Bank. This move violates multiple international laws and treaties and has been met with widespread protests. Yet, the new Israeli government of Benjamin Netanyahu, backed by former General Benny Gantz, has declared that it will proceed. So what does this annexation plan entail? The exact details are not public yet. But most of the areas annexed will be in what is called Area C of the Occupied West Bank. As per the Oslo Accords of 1995, Area C comprises almost 60% of the West Bank and is under full administrative and security control of Israel. Israel's annexation plan will see it take over at least 50% of this Area C. Area C is also where most of the illegal Israeli settlements have been built since the Israeli occupation in 1967. Israel is also set to annex the Jordan Valley. The valley, which borders the state of Jordan, is rich and fertile with a permanent source of water through the River Jordan. Israel has encouraged settlers to build illegal settlements and even outposts in the occupied West Bank, often evicting Palestinians who have lived on the land for centuries. Its annexation plan involves taking over the land on which these settlements are located. Israel's plan also corresponds to the so-called deal of the century announced by U.S. President Donald Trump in January this year. As per the Trump plan, the remaining 50% of Area C will also not be available for any construction, suggesting that Palestinians will ultimately have to give up 60% of the West Bank. The fate of more than 65,000 Palestinians living in the Jordan Valley and that of their farmlands is even more unclear. If not expelled, in all likelihood they will be treated as second-class Israeli citizens. This annexation is illegal according to the Fourth Geneva Convention of 1949, to which Israel is a signatory. According to it, no occupying power can transfer its own civilian population into the occupied territories. It cannot annex, nor cannot build any permanent structure. In preparation for this annexation, the number of illegal detentions of Palestinians has seen an unprecedented rise. Throughout this process, Israel has been strongly backed by the US. There has been widespread opposition to the plan both in Palestine and abroad. The Hamas movement has called for a broader unity among Palestinians to confront Israel's proposed annexation. It has also asked all Arab countries to come together and confront the Israeli annexation plan. The Palestinian Liberation Organization and the Palestinian Authority have also issued statements and warned the Israeli state against a formal annexation. Michael Link, the UN Special Rapporteur on Human Rights in the Occupied Territories, has called Israel's plan a 21st century apartheid. He has called on the international community to review its extensive menu of sanctions and countermeasures to stem this march towards further illegality, emphasizing there has to be a cost to the defiance of international law. A group of nearly 50 UN human rights experts also condemned the plan, saying that Palestinians would be left with nothing more than the Bantustan, ending all hopes for an independent, viable and contiguous Palestinian state. In the coming weeks, as Israel proceeds with the annexation, a fresh wave of protests from Palestinians is expected. There have been calls for a new intifada against this annexation plan. The Palestinians have vowed to resist this latest brutal attack of occupation by Israel. Yeah,